Hey everybody, I am Blind Ryan, and we are having a swatch at Kanga. And this is how the game starts. Um, when you reset the save file, it just pops right to the game. Not a fan of that. Um, that is a bit jarring. Anyway, let's look at the settings and see what we've got. Now, I do want to say that the dev, one, has given me a key. I'd like to thank him for that. And two, it is a solo dev, so the chain of uh, communication is pretty short. Three, before I get into my complaints... My suggestions, if you will. Um, he has said that he's going to be working on this stuff, so I'm going to have to be making a few videos as he gets these out. So I asked him... Um, he says he's going to work on screen size, UI, and font scaling on the top of the list at the moment. Movement speed, slider options, as well as removing mo motion blur as well. So that's good. <coughs> so let me just make my little text file <clears throat> excuse me isn't asthma fun so we go new text document we go discord we go copy and we go paste ah that's not what i wanted there we go okay and then my suggestions will be below that pause button <laughs> That's one thing I noticed in the um, fuck off. in the options menu. As you can see, there are rebindable controls. That's always nice. The problem is there is no way to pause the game other than escape. And I think there should be a pause button. Now, if he means for it to not have a pause button, that's fine. That's probably what he meant by the... Uh, um, by the movement speed slider options. But then, as you can see, you've got a bunch of stuff here, and he's going to get rid of the motion blur. I'm going to play what I can. And I did say that he should get a, a slightly bolder font, just in general, because, like, some of these are a little hard to read. But we'll see. There we go. So, let's get to this. Oh, that motion blur is bad. Oh, I'm glad he's working on that. Welcome to Kanga. I'll be teaching you the basics. First things first, let's move around. Use WASD. Oh. Oh, God, that's so bad. All right. Use Q and E to rotate the camera. Thank God he's going to include fixes for that, because, oh, that's horrible. Uh, use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The zoom works pretty well. See if you can find my village. But yeah, this should definitely... The, the, the font here should definitely be easier to read. Um, let me see. Uh, Boulder font option. Slash plain font. Arial bold is my go-to. Let me see here. What else was there? Um, right, 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 right. Uh, mouse pointer options. Outline, outline color. Uh, pointer color. Scale. See, Terraria for a good example. Okay. Got three things already. See if you can find my village. Oh, cool. They put you on a little island. Nice. And the floating camp. You can click... The mouse wheel to move the camera freely. Okay. Your thinker is your village leader. We are thinkers too. If your thinker falls or your braves die, you will lose. Villages are expendable and must protect thinkers with their lives. You can always collect your thinker by pressing the profile button in the top left corner. Or by pressing space. You can right-click to move your thinker. You can move and command all your villagers this way.
Okay, your mouse cursor will keep track of how many units you have selected. Also, shift click individual units to add to your selection. Okay, so it's like a real time strategy game. Cool, cool. You can left click and drag select multiple units. Let's go into some gameplay. Thank God there's a tutorial. How oh, fucked would I be otherwise? <laughs> okay, first you must build a campfire. Alright. The border around it is where you'll be able to build and the resources you've claimed. Alright, so let's look at this logically. Where we want to get all of this crap. All of this crap. All of this crap. Build it in the center of this island. That dirt patch seems like a good place. Where? What? Center? Alright. Hey, what? Click the campfire icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the campfire down here, think it will get inspired with the shelter technique. Oh! Oh, crap! This is... Whoa! Yeah, UI scaling definitely needs to be a thing. I am really, really glad that the dev got back to me about things he wanted to add. That is... Oh, that hurts my head. Oh. Um... Thatched house, thatched home, wood home. There's plenty of wood. Round wood houses that benefit. I can't read. I couldn't read that. Um, put the campfire down. And click on the click on the explanation. Randomize based on what is around you and what you already know. Click your new home icon and place a few down. Okay. Oh, wait. Did I fuck that up? Okay, no, I didn't. Good. Rotate. There. Three homes. That should be enough. Reduce new braves. Capacity. Hold shift to place one and one. Click your new home icon, take notice of the arrow, press R to rotate, okay. Brave should build buildings on their own. Top down, top down, yay, top down. Once complete, a house needs at least one brave to offer inside it. After time, it'll produce another brave. Houses need food to produce braves, so let's choose a source of food. To get more technology, you need to send your thinker to sources of inspiration around the, around the men. Send your thinker to the food inspiration and choose the bakery. Where is he? There he is. Inspiration? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. No, that's something else. You might see a warning. Ignore that for now. Where the fuck am I supposed to send them? Send your thinker to the food inspiration and she's bakery. Where is this food inspiration? I don't see anything. Uh, I can't see what I'm supposed to be looking for, man. This technology is an attachment that must be placed to the house. Well, that's for boring. Where am I supposed to fucking go? Oof, yeah, that motion blur is really fucking in my head. Uh, well, 
and I, I, okay, I can't find, I can't find what I'm supposed to click on here. I don't see what they're talking about. So yeah, I'm I'm stopped right in my tracks. I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Breezy. I, I have no idea what to do now. But if you surrender to the menu. Oh, my head. Mm, damn. So the, the next video that I do on this will probably not be very long out if he's going to be adding this stuff as quickly as all that. First time, no problem. We'll go easy on you. Right. New face. And then you go over there to choose your thing. You choose your map. Whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, it's like your technology thing. That's kind of cool. And then you come back out here and there's that. That's a really neat main menu. I like that. So, yeah, just overall cleanup. The stuff you said you were going to add. Um, I'd better add my little bullet point here to um let's see got lost in tutorial i will make a second and probably more than that video at a later time let me see here let me see got lost in tutorial could ah could not find inspiration point. Make a second, probably. Okay. So there we go. There's that. So I hope you all... <laughs> I hope you all gleaned something from this. And like I said, I will make a follow-up video. Because I like what the dev is doing with this game. I like this idea behind this game. And I think once some of the niggles have been ironed out... I'll be able to really give it a good go. And my hope is that it turns into RimWorld for me, which I have out over 2,000 hours on RimWorld. I'm hoping that this becomes one of those games that I play to unwind. And that I can play on stream and that I can just chill out with. Because it seems like that's the kind of thing he's going for. So, I want to thank the dev again for the key. And I need to go take some headache medicine. <laughs> I have been Blind Ryan and I will see you all next time.